and that is done just look at that absolutely beautiful let me just get the camera focus on that let's just do a taste test mmm that is absolutely beautiful Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you some bulking snacks. Now these snacks are between sort of 500 and 600 calories, give or take. And um, yeah, so they're perfect for sort of fitting into um, a daily bulking diet. I tend to find when I'm bulking, I try to sort of have two or three snacks throughout the day, just to sort of really split those meals up really. Um, because I'm eating around about 3,350 calories at the moment. So fitting in some snacks throughout the day really does help me hit my calories and my macros. Yeah, so I'm going to be sharing with you a few snacks in this video. I will do a future video with more bulking snacks. So with that being said, let's get into the first snack. So that's snack one done. So this is just over 500 calories. I think it's about 520 calories. Um, really high in protein, high in carb. When I make this as well, I try to get Greek root yogurt that's quite thick. Um, so it gives quite a thick consistency to it. I sometimes have this along with whatever I'm having for breakfast. So I might have it as a little dessert after my breakfast or sometimes just as a pre-workout snack. I use the um, apple and cinnamon toasted oats to go in this, but you can sort of replace it with granola. Yeah, so just to recap what's in it, I've got 300 grams of fat-free Greek yogurt. There's 80 grams of strawberries in this. I've got a scoop of strawberry cream uh, whey protein in there. And then I've got the toasted oats that I mentioned. There is 40 grams of those toasted oats in there as well. And then finally just uh, 15 grams of honey on top. So I'm going to enjoy this and then I'm going to be showing you my next snack on the video which will be for pre-workout. So for my pre-workout snack I'm going to make myself a shake. So to start with I weigh out 30 grams of oats. And then before I add any further ingredients what I'll tend to do is um, blend the oats up first into like a powder. And the reason I do this is because I find if I blend them with all the other ingredients the oats tend to just sit at the bottom of the shake, so then when you actually come to drinking it, you've sort of got a big clump of oats sitting at the bottom of the shake and it's not nice to get the last little bit down. So I find by blending them up into a powder first and then adding the ingredients after and blending all together really works. So once the oats are all blended up, I then add 400 millilitres of milk, a banana, 15 grams of peanut butter, and then a scoop of chocolate whey protein. I'm using the chocolate brownie one. And then finally, I just add some ice to that as well. And then I just blend everything together for about a minute. So this shake has about 620 calories in it. It's got 70 grams of carbohydrates, 42 grams of protein and 20 grams of fat. And if you're a hard gainer, you could easily increase the calories in this shake by adding other ingredients such as a few eggs or some coconut oil um, or in just increasing the amount of peanut butter. And while that's sort of blending up in there, I thought I'd just touch on the 
blender itself. So I recently purchased this blender at the beginning of this year. I have used one of the sort of cheaper blenders that you can buy off Amazon. I think it was a Breville one at the time, but I tend to find that when you're sort of mixing up banana and oats, it really struggles to sort of blend it down into, into a shake. And since I've been using this new blender, I can't fault it really. It is an absolute beast. It, it will literally destroy anything that you put in it. The only sort of criticism that I would say about this is that it's noisy as hell. So you can't really be using this late at night. I mean, I've got a little boy, so I can't really be using this late at night because it would, it would wake him up with how loud it is. But yeah, it's a fantastic blender. And if you, if you are making sort of shapes like this with bananas and oats and things quite regular, I would recommend probably going for a sort of high value blender just because of how good they are and convenient they are for this type of job. So I blend this shape for around about a minute just to make sure everything's sort of mixed in there. And then once that's all blended up, that's my second snack of the day done. So that's the shape done. So like I said, there's over 600 calories um, in this shake. You can make it a lot higher calories, um, like I said, by adding other things. If you're a hard gainer, this is sort of one of the best ways that you can sort of get calories in. I mean, you can make these shakes up to like over a thousand calories. And if you're having one of these in the morning and in an evening, you can easily add 2000 calories to your day just by doing that. And when you're drinking your calories, it's so easy to get down you. I mean, I used to struggle to, uh, to have breakfast a while back. Um, I, mean, I don't struggle so much now, but when, when I used to struggle to get breakfast down me, I used to sort of make one of these shakes up um, in the morning and sort of give myself sort of five, 600 calories to start with. Um, when I wasn't feeling too hungry. So yeah, so it's great if you're really struggling with appetite. One thing I would say though is um, try to make your own shakes. Don't go for the sort of weight gain shakes that you can buy. They tend to be just packed full of sugar. Um, so the carbs that you're getting from aren't that great and they don't taste very nice either to be honest with you. So yeah, make your own shakes. <sighs> That's good. Yeah, so I'm gonna finish this off. And this is going to give me some energy for my gym because I'm going to be doing a leg session today. It's kind of difficult to do uh, legs from home to be honest with you. I haven't really got that much equipment. Let me know in the comments below, like, have you guys been able to work your legs properly from home? I mean, I can probably, I've got, I've got a power rack and, and a barbell um, and some dumbbells. So I can probably do like squats, um, calf raises, uh, front squats. Um, but I haven't really got like a leg press machine or leg extension or anything like that. So... Yeah, let me know in the comments below how you've been getting on through lockdown, whether you've been able to work out your legs or not. Yeah, so I'm going to finish this off and then I'm going to go into the home gym to do my leg session. boiling in here at the moment 23 degrees Celsius that's better Okay, so that is the leg session done. I'm quite weak when it comes to working out my legs, to be honest. I don't really look forward to, to, to working legs. Kind of start to dread it when it comes to uh, working the legs out, to be honest. I know a lot of people enjoy it. Maybe I'll start to feel that way as time goes on, but at the moment, I'm not really enjoying it. Let me know in the comments below whether you enjoy working legs. 
uh, or whether you're like me and you just want to get past it and move on to, to sessions that you enjoy like upper body. Yeah, so I'm just going to uh, freshen up, have a shower and then I'm going to be making my post-workout snack which is going to be the last snack of this video. So I will see you there. Okay, so I've just come out of the shower. I'm uh, ready to make my post-workout snack now. Um, so for this snack, you only really need four ingredients really. Um, you need a bagel, some tuna, um, and then I put some low-fat salad cream in that. You can sort of substitute that for, for, for light mayonnaise, um, but the calories would be slightly higher if you did that. Um, and then I also use some mozzarella cheese as well um, to go on top. So yeah, so let's get into making that. snack of the video hope you've enjoyed this video if you have feel free to drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you're new and I will see you on the next one